Here I am with my penis. <laughs> uh, newly designed, uh, more specifically I like to note the uh, added flapper ons. Uh, the uh, inner internal structures might change. Like I might add a second one to prevent torsional uh, stress. Oh, I wonder if it's because of the fucking flat down. Oh no! So, as I was building this airplane, I sort of went on autopilot and as a result I built basically two left wings. This is supposed to be the bottom of the wing. Initially I thought that this was going to be a problem but I went ahead with it and still went to fly it. Fire. Isn't that higher than it's supposed to go? There's your will, there's a motherfucking way. Roll control, engaged, let's fly this fucking thing. What's the $64 million question? Is the CG correct? Is it on full throttle right now? No. Yeah, that's... Water. Ooh! Yeah, right? It's done. It's wheat. Oh! You can see it for a sec. It's definitely not reflected yet. It's still like vibrating. Oh, that was a hard landing. I forgot this goes uphill. <laughs> Even from a full speed climb or a dive out of control and hitting dirt, 
The aircraft is largely intact. GT-13 There's a quick close-up. You can see uh, twin ESCs. There's one uh, for the servos and one is for the motor. They're both broken in that sense, so they work together. Here's a XI-2808-16, 7x5 APC, pulling about 30 amps, 29 amps peak. Uh, there's the battery up there. The receiver is underneath here in this little crack. Yep. This is just um, a new control system where these don't work at all. There are only two servos controlling this plane, and uh, the rear um, elevons are extended so that I can have more elevator authority. You see that shit? How it's just like Ooh. yawing? Ooh. Ah.